You say, shit, he bought money. Somebody didn't make this man. That man ain't going to do that. I will put up two million right now to fight Yak in the ring on some, on some Jake Paul shit. That man ain't going to do that. What the fuck? You think Yak will fight me, fam, in front of people? Boy, that boy could go get trained by God, boy. I'm going to be boy. That's like a little brother. Like, you know, say your little brother don't know matter how good he get or what he learned in life. You just can whoop him. Like, I'm going to just whoop you, bro. Like, I'm going to grieve you. Boy, y'all can go get trained by God. Boy, I'm going to whoop you, boy. What the fuck? I'm going to be still here on some smoker shit, chilling. All right, today the fight? All right, let's go. Beat the fuck boy. Let's do that. Let's make it interesting for the people that shake it. So we going to stop the violence right after. Shake, shake hands after. Nigga don't want to get in a ring with me or nothing. Like, boy, your ass, boy. <laughs> What the f What's up, everybody? So, I'm so confused on why Jack Boy thinks that he's going to be able to get $2 million from Kodak Black when he can't even get 500 k or whatever the fuck that Kodak or he says they owe each other. So, if you guys don't know where this whole beef stems from, it's a very long story, but essentially... Jack Boy said he was going to give Kodak Black, I think it was like a, a 500 fucking grand when he comes out or some ridiculous shit. And it didn't happen, of course. I don't even know if Jack Boy has 500k to his name. Not even hating. I just honestly don't. So they got into a beef about that. Then a bunch of other shit came into it. And essentially, they've been beefing for like two years now. But one thing that is interesting is, so if you guys didn't know the whole um, Super Gremlin was about Jack Boy, and then Jack Boy made a response. And it probably hurt Jack Boy a bit because regardless of anything super gremlin became kodak blacks basically his biggest hit and it was a diss towards jack boy so i know jack boy probably felt some type of way and he's kind of been keeping this beef and he's been the only one really speaking about it and i mean if i'm the lesser artist in a beef i'm probably gonna be speaking about it a little bit more especially if i feel like i've been owed some money or i feel like i was did dirty but jack boy was essentially was basically saying that he wants to box kodak black and he'll put two million dollars of his own money on it i got a couple questions the first thing is how the fuck does jack boy have two million dollars because i see artists that are like don't have two million dollars that are always complaining about their label and they don't do nearly as much numbers as, as jack boy so maybe jack and but jack boy's not independent he's signed so i don't know how the fuck jack boy has two million dollars maybe i don't know who what investor is giving him two million dollars to box kodak black but another thing is I don't understand either why these people, when they give these, like, they put these giant numbers on how much they'll pay to box. It's so, that's how you really know the boxing match is never going to happen because you got people like Jake Paul who are, who are fucking fighting and their opponents aren't even getting paid fucking $2 million. So you're telling me Jack Boy and Kodak Black are both going to put $2 million in in the win? Come on, bro. It's just stupid. It's just so stupid. It's a stupid thing to do. If people, if you guys really wanted to fight, you would just go somewhere and fight for free. I don't understand why $2 million is put on it. And this man, then he said, if Jesus Christ himself trained Kodak, he'd lose. Or God himself. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure you give Kodak Black like 12 months, take him off, of, take him off the drugs, remove the perks from his system give him like fucking canelo's trainer i'm pretty sure jack boy get his ass beat but i don't know i probably sound like a jack boy hater right now but i like jack boy i like his music i just don't know why he keeps mentioning kodak black because kodak black isn't saying a word to him so it just makes jack boy look more and more like a hater and it isn't helping his career at all to keep mentioning kodak black because like i said everyone now is just looking at him as a hater before people were taking his side but now when you posted the clip everyone's like bro jack boy just being a hater so it's like i don't know what he gains from this but you guys gotta let me know maybe jack boy's in the right and i'm just hating you guys think jack boy could be kodak in a fight they're both pretty fucking small it'd literally be like some goblins fighting but you guys gotta let me know